Hey everyone, August 9th today. Uh, I just uh, woke up. Uh, I'm currently uh, just reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I'll put a link in the description if you uh, want to purchase it. Uh, phenomenal book. It's my uh, third time reading it and each time you get a little bit more out of it. Uh, it, it goes through the thought process and the ideas that you need to create to bring the world or your desires to you and it will be a book that you can't just read once unless you already have that mind have the mindset that you need um, it walks you through the plans that you need what it takes to be a leader um, implementation of an idea to the fears that you need to overcome if you have fears which most people do even if they don't realize it uh, the importance of a mastermind group which is something that um, I've overlooked in the past. I've done a lot of things myself and I definitely need to reach out to more people. And when I have, I have found that I've done uh, more work and found the solutions to my goals. Um, currently, I have a vid uh, another video rendering. So I've been busy on those. Again, it's taking a little long. I actually realized yesterday, uh, I posted on my Twitter and my Facebook account that I was recording at such a large size file that every video I tried to render was taking forever and I was rend I was recording at cinematic quality which at the end of the day wasn't going to give me any better videos than what you you've been seeing um, except it was taking me longer so I've actually dropped the quality today I'm recording in it and last night's uh, end of my vlog I recorded in and looks exactly the same renders the same so I'm excited that I can actually get more videos videos up quicker to you and actually render them which will save me time you know any way you can I can find time to save myself or um, allow my computer to run faster it's it's a savior plans for today uh, I'm gonna finish reading uh, Napoleon Till Hills Think and Grow Rich I have a blog post uh, I'm working on for this weekend that will come out um, on Monday, it's uh, on the Midas Touch, little review of what I, what I learned in it, what I read, and what I uh, thought was important for people to take away if they didn't want to read the book or they couldn't afford it, even though you know, it's only $15 bucks, $20 to $20 if you go on Amazon or go to Barnes & Noble. You know, so it's an affordable book, and at the end of the day, to be able to pay for education is important. There's no reason to use that as an excuse. Uh, also, the public library most likely has it. so. You know, anyone that lives in, in a city uh, should have a library accessible to them or if it's in college, again, you'll have a library accessible to you and they should be able to find the book for you. Uh, outside of that blog post, I've been working um, on Formula Order Works' business plan, touched on that last night. I'm almost done with the sections that I have uh, signed myself and my other business partner, Chris, has been working on the products and services that we'll be offering. So that's getting ex pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to the meeting on Sunday uh, to catch up with them, uh, with Chris and John and finalize a few more of the business plans. Catch up with everyone later. Stuck in traffic on uh, Highway 476, heading back from uh, Westchester. Just thought I'd uh, let you guys know. And uh, I always try to use my time in the car as wisely as possible. Obviously with driving, one of the consequences is getting stuck in traffic, especially driving around uh, the Philadelphia area. So whatever I, whenever I'm driving, I always have a podcast on or um, I listen to The Economist on magazine. Uh, my dad has a subscription to it, so I always like to stay up to date on the world news and listening to the magazine that came out this week allows me to do so. Um, for podcasts, some of the good ones are Think Entrepreneurship or The Smart Passive Income uh, by, with uh, Pat Flynn, or I listen to uh, some NPR. Um, I just like to stay up to date on the overall news, uh, business tips, business thinking, and I try to share that with you guys, and that's where I get some of my inspiration from. Um, I really like Pat Flynn. He talks about, focuses online mainly with uh, blogs and passive income, and that's where I originally got some of my ideas with... Um, my ebooks for maximum-evolution.com and with just doing YouTube videos as another media source to grow my brand, to grow my, um, to promote my inspiration and, and try to motivate more people. Anyway, um, got to focus on driving, so talk to everyone later.
traffic. So much of it, guys. So much of it. Anyway, um, since I am stuck in traffic still, I uh, started thinking, just with all the cars around, uh, what my next car is going to be. Um, I have a couple potential ones that, that I've been considering. Um, one's a Mitsubishi Evo Evolution, um, or a newer used BMW M3 or 335. Those are my probably top three favorite cars, ranging in the prices um, that I can afford. What is what is your guys' favorite car? If you could buy a car right now under, I'll say seventy thousand, sixty thousand, uh, what would it be, and why would it? Why would you buy that car? Just got back from picking up my dad from the airport, and uh, spent about an hour and a half at Starbucks reading uh, the rest of Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, absolutely amazing book. I caught so much more this time than I caught the first two times. And if you're wanting to succeed on anything in life, I highly recommend you taking the time and actually reading it. It's only about 200 pages, but there's just so much detail and advice and points of view that are vital to the psychology of success. Um, anyway, I'm gonna about to get to sleep and uh, start tomorrow. So, yeah, feeling pretty good. And oh, also finished rendering uh, two more videos, so those will be being posted to uh, to this channel uh, in the coming days. And uh, um, pretty much, I have about two more pages to do on uh, Formula Motor Works is uh, business plan uh, before Sunday. So, gonna uh, finish that up tomorrow.